Now, with back to school time approaching, parents and students may be worried about safety. The horrors of Uvalde, Parkland, and Newtown still fresh on our minds. New Jersey improving security by mapping out 1,500 schools so police will know just what's inside if there's ever, God forbid, an incident, right? The other 1,500 schools in the state already in the database. Now, the person who is in charge of making sure the system works is Lori Dor Doran. She is the director of New Jersey's Office of Homeland Security and Preparedness. So, director, welcome. Thanks for being here this morning. Oh, well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate having the opportunity to speak about everything we're doing. I mean, can you talk about how critical it is to have the mappings of every single school for school security? Sure, I certainly can. As you know, I mean, our, protecting the students and teachers here in New Jersey is our number one priority when it comes to schools. And so the, ma the mapping will help us to be able to help keep everyone safe in the event that there's an emergency. And we know that with that, you know, that sometimes, you know, when bad things do happen, uh, sometimes the, the first responders have never been in that building. So mm -hmm. this mapping initiative will allow everyone to have information ahead of time to be prepared for any, any eventuality that might happen there. Mm. And we're, I mean, we're obviously always shocked by school shootings and it seems like we're talking about them far too often in this country but given the number that we see play out a lot of people would say schools are are really a safe place to be right so how safe are the schools in new jersey in your opinion when you kind of look at all of the ones and the maps that you're seeing i would say that they are safe i mean that you never can give anything a hundred percent but we've worked very hard uh you know with my office along with our other uh, law enforcement partners both at the federal state and local level to keep everything it's safe and this is where this initiative will help to make all the schools in New Jersey a bit safer. Mm. Right now there are approximately 1500 schools in New Jersey that already have had this mapping initiative uh, done for them and this will take care of all the rest of them regardless of whether it's a private school, public school, charter school, uh, every school will be mapped. But that's how to react, right? I mean that's mm -hmm. if it happens how law enforcement can react. So how can we prevent it? In the There's a couple the ways that you can there's a couple ways that you can prevent. If we're talking about the educators and the students and, and the parents, some of the things that we would look at is to also have people get themselves familiar with the 15 types of uh, signs of suspicious activity reporting and share that information with their children. Uh, one of the things that we talk about a lot here at NJOHSP is the whole see something, say something uh, approach that's both on the national level and here at the state. And what we mean by that is that if something does seem a little odd, mm -hmm. please report it to your, you know, if you're a student, to your teacher, to your parent, to your guidance counselor. And, and, and we can look on our website at njohsp.gov uh, to uh, find uh, more information about these 15 signs of suspicious activity. And also, uh, if, the, if you do have something, you can also call our tip line, which is 1 866 4 safe NJ, or our uh, email is tips at njohsp.gov. But with that, we are working together as a team, whether it's those of us in law enforcement, as well as uh, people who are in the community to help keep us safe, whether that's in the school or in a business or anywhere, anywhere throughout the state. Yeah, you know, and, and so some of those preventative measures that you're talking about here, you're recommending for parents as well to kind of look at some of these warning signs, not only when their child is in school, but at yep. home as well. Can you give an example? Exactly. Um, a lot of what we see online, you know, we see is, is things that happen online. I mean, students, you know, get, you know, are involved in doing gaming and other areas, of, you know, having fun. And also, you know, they are friends with their students. And I know no one wants to be the person who, you know, t tattletales on their on their friend. But if they do notice something that's not quite right or, if, you know, again, they're not they're, they're not going to get in trouble for doing that. It just helps. If that someone is struggling, we want to be able to help that person who is struggling because mm -hmm. that hopefully will never turn into a bad situation yeah. that perhaps we've seen in some other locations. What's your what's your take on some of the other security measures that schools could take, like uh, security cameras or even armed security guards? How do you feel about that? Um, I think that you know, depending on the circumstances of those schools, I think they need to be used judiciously, and I would say that within our you know the governor's administration and also for federal state and local partners we you know when we do put those types of things in at schools um it is done with a lot of pre-planning and a lot of risk assessments that are done prior to that there nothing is done spontaneously here so um you know our the state routinely conducts security vulnerability assessments and surveys in the education sector and with that that will help in each individual school, each individual individual community yeah. who does have a role in helping to decide that 
what's best for their for their location. You know, you, we're talking about schools right here. Obviously, such an important aspect. But we also saw, you know, a, a mass shooting in Buffalo that took place at a supermarket. And so you're talking about the maps of schools. What are mm -hmm. the schematics and maps that you have for some big locations around the state of New Jersey, like say a mall? Those things do exist. This particular program is focusing on schools. Okay. But those those type of uh, programs do exist for other things. For example. Um, previously, we've used this type of technology to work on you know, being prepared for pre-planned mass gathering events here in the state. Mm. We've used this also for in the state's COVID-19 pandemic uh, pandemic response. And also, you know, unfortunately, a, a, a fairly recent example of, uh, of, of this is during the law enforcement response to the domestic terrorist attack in, in Jersey City, New Jersey yeah. in uh, December 2019. But these same types of technology can be used for other things other than just schools. It right. can be for yeah. any location. Well, obviously great to have, but hopefully they'll never have to use them. Yeah. Exactly. We try to plan on a blue sky day um, <laughs> and also the partnerships amongst all of our, you know, both law enforcement with with the educators, so that if in the, you know, if something does happen, you know, that we will be as prepared as possible. We yeah. try to prevent, but if something does happen, we try to mitigate as quickly as possible. Right. All right, Laura Duran, director of New Jersey's Office of Homeland Security. Thanks again for being with us this morning. We appreciate no. it. No, thank you guys very much. I really appreciate being here. Of Take course. care.